Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate five of the few websites that I started using to improve my productivity and learning. This is not a sponsored post. I will walk you through all these five websites that I have handpicked and how to use them efficiently. If you are new to this channel, then do subscribe if you are eager to know more about data analytics and how to use that in day to day routine. All right, so let's get started. All right, so my first website is image creator. So the website link is imgcreator.zmo.ai. I'll share this in the description. So this website, this website helps you to create images with text. It is a very powerful tool. So if you click on create new image, right? So whatever you type, whatever is your imagination, you can just type and the image will be created according to the category that you have selected. For example, if you want to have a name or character or maybe in the form of art, you can select that. Some of the categories are for paid, like realistic photo design and illustration. So if you want to use it for free, you can use these three categories and then you can add the style as well. If you want to have, for example, anime selected, so you can have Japanese anime or anime classic, sweetie girl, any kind of style you want to add. You can click on show more to see more of these kind of styles. So for example, let's say I want to see um, a baby sitting on a bench in a garden, let's say, right? Baby sitting on a bench in a garden, right? So what I'll do is I'll click on create. It will take some time to create a picture. So you can see this progress bar, right? So here, what you can do is you can write anything, whatever is in your mind and one particular image on that particular text will pop out. And this is really, really powerful. You can see this has been created. So one girl, so I've uh, selected anim, right? So anim is there sitting on a bench in a garden. So there is another option, like these two options are there. So if I click on, let's say art and click again on create. So let's see how the image changes. So you have seen the NM, now you can see the art, right? So this is really powerful. You can write anything. So let's see what it comes. Here we go. So you can see this is the art and here we are having one more art. So the algorithm shows you multiple images from where you can select. So you can like download these images after clicking on this. So this is how you can use text input and the output will be the image. Similarly, there is another option like image input. So if you select any particular image and you can create the series from here. So this is really powerful. I found this website really, really helpful. If you want to create something and it is all original, you don't have to pay anyone. So once you have created this image, you can use this in your slides. You can use this anywhere. You don't have to give copyright or anything. So once you write text and the image will be there for you for that particular text. All right. So coming to the next website, this is visual capitalist. So this is more of a journal uh, where you can just go to uh, any particular topic and read things but on top of it there are visuals so for example uh, one of my favorite visual is map i'll show you which one i'm talking about let's say the future value of disruptive materials so if you want to read about it you can read but with visuals as well so here you can see how the visual has been created it is very catchy right so if you want to see what is my copper contribution, then what is my palladium contribution? What is graphene contribution? So if you have understanding of Power BI or Tableau, you can create similar kind of visuals, but this kind of visual you can't create. This is some illustrations. 
right if you want to understand on this i can create a further video and we can work on this so you can see these are the legends and how the contribution is there what is my annual growth rate this is really 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 catchy so if someone wants to read they can understand easily from these kind of visuals and then you can read as well right so this is very informative and i feel it can help you to expand your horizons as well so if you want to read something in technology let's say so which are my most innovative countries in the world for 2022 right so you can see what is the criteria on the basis of which they have decided that this country is more innovative or this country is less innovative so these are the seven categories business sophistication human capital institutions infrastructure market sophistication knowledge and technology outputs and finally creative outputs so so on these seven categories they have given the ranking so on this basis you can see top 10 countries number 1 is switzerland second is us third is sweden so and so forth right india is uh, 36.6 so you can see here on the scale somewhere around here we are positioned so more innovative is towards the yellow that is 70 that is highest lowest is 10 which is darker red uh, darker blue sorry yeah so this this is how you can you know understand any topic through visuals so i feel this website is really helpful you can expand your knowledge by reading this right so you can go into markets you can go into technology you can go into money healthcare so many things are there and if you are really excited with maps so there is a dedicated technology maps over here right so if you want to see the population of india states compared with the countries this is so powerful map right all right so now coming to the third website this is typelit.io here there are two ways uh, you can get benefit from in typelit first is you can improve your typing speed second you can read or uh, not read you can well get well versed with any particular book for example uh, there are two options let's say uh, classic and custom you can upload your own book if i go with classic you don't need to upload let's say you want to read or type george orwell book it's a very well known book it's a classic for example i click here there are various chapters right so you can just click on any chapter and you can just start typing if i come back on books there is another one animal farm it is slightly smaller book uh, with 102 pages only you can start with this if you want to this is a very well known book so for example if you click on chapter 1 right so it will start from here chapter 1 and uh, on the right side on top you can see chapter 1 page 1 by 9 what uh, wpm is there then acc is there right so wpm is word per minute and acc is accuracy what is your accuracy let's start all right so what you have to do is you just need to see the screen and type chapter 1 okay this is this enter mr jones of the manor farm had locked the hen houses for the night but was too drunk to remember to shut the pop holes so this is how you are writing you can see the word per minute count is 49 accuracy is 96.9% so this is how you can start with the ring of light from his lantern dancing from side to side he lurched across the yard kicked off his boots at the back door 
drew himself a last glass of beer beer from the barrel in the scullery and made his way up to bed where Mrs. Jones was oops, already snoring. So you can see word per minute is 50 and accuracy is roughly around 96.4%. So this is how you can just type any book you want to. It will help you to read and understand what this book is all about. It will improve your typing speed. So many things are there. So I feel this is really productive and it is very good for your typing speed as well. All right, so now coming to the fourth website, it is Kialo, K-I-A-L-O, Kialo.com. It is a website to explore the debates. So for example, if you want to know things, what people think about that particular topic, for example, let's say, what is the feature? Should we sing problematic Christmas songs or should parents perpetuate myths like Santa Claus and Easter Bunny to their children? So what are people's thought on this? So what this topic tells is, should we tell kids that Santa Claus is not real? But actually it is not real and uh, we tell uh, the children that it is real. Right, so, so uh, we should say this or not. There are pros and cons what people say. So you can see what the people give their opinion on. You can understand which is more um, in the ma major uh, form. What is the majority of that? Right, so this is really nice. I mean, uh, this will give you new perspectives and you can read about it. Like parents should not perpetuate myths like Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny to their children. The pros is encouraging belief in mythological creatures requires lying to children. So we have to lie to, the, uh, to our children that Santa Claus is real. Cons, encouraging belief in mythological creatures supports children's imagination. Encouraging belief in mythological creatures may help children to cope with existence. So there are so many people with pros and cons and you can see the comments as well. So you can also start with this. You can log in, you can sign up and uh, contribute to this and uh, you'll get to know so many things in this, right? So it depends on you. If you really want to understand the perspectives, you can definitely go and you can select particular writer if you are interested for that particular writer, supporters or opponents and you can vote right so this is nice this is new something which you can uh, utilize for your own knowledge all right and finally there is one super meme app where you can turn text into memes using artificial intelligence so you must have seen these kind of memes your manager congratulating you for the viral meme you created you just created using supermeme.ai so you can start for free uh, initially you'll get 20 options like uh, 20 times you can create a meme for free and then you have to pay right so let's start so uh, there are two options of uh, text to meme and themed meme right let's see what is text to meme so here what you have to do is let's say uh, you want to create a meme on a particular topic let's say data scientists earn less than what you think let's see what super meme gives me on this so it has created some memes right so when you find out that data scientists make less money than you thought right so it is really nice some might not make sense some will make sense so it is up to you what you type here right if i click on reuse random text just got a raise from the boss 
generate when you get a raise from the boss this doesn't make sense because this is a good thing and uh, from the face of the person uh, he is in shock right so this doesn't make sense but uh, you get a gist you will get something and uh, uh, you can use that particular gif so here this when you get a raise from the boss it is uh, making sense you can use this you can download and you can use these memes in your day to day routine so this is really nice uh, you can use this and if I go to themed meme you can select particular theme let's say I want to work like check crypto right pick from the templates let's say I want to generate meme with this template right and then I can select particular language as well let's say what is in Hindi जब आप एक हफ्ते के बाद बिटकॉइन की कीमत की जांच करते हैं और ये केवल पांच परसेंट गिरा है सो ही फील सेटिस्फाइड राइट सो नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज द मीम लैंग्वेज टू इंग्लिश सो दिस इज सो पावरफुल यू कैन यूज सो मैनी लैंग्वेजेस एंड यू कैन यूज एनी पर्टिकुलर फॉन्ट वेन यू सेल योर बिटकॉइन एट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड देन इट क्रैशेज टू थ्री के so yeah so sense of satisfaction or relieved right so these are the kind of memes that you can generate and these are all original you don't have to pay anyone for any kind of watermark or anything the, these are all original and you can create anything in seconds you don't have to like go on canva first select particular template then write that is time consuming here you just need to click on things whatever are things you need to work on and click on generate and finally you get the meme so this is powerful if you are into meme and you want to create some kind of memes to like maybe distribute it to your friends and all so you can use this uh, website otherwise this is not required in your day to day routine for example me I don't use this website but this is really nice so i wanted to showcase to you all right guys i hope this video was useful i have uh, shown you five websites first was image creator second was visual capitalist then it was typelet where you can type the uh, book then uh, there is uh, kialo then finally super meme right one more thing i want to show you if you have heard about chat gpt right so if i go to chat gpt based ai designer this is really powerful i want to show you uh, this video that they have created so on the left side you can see can you describe a warm christmas poster from color words design so automatically the chat gpt will tell you right automatically the image will come then you can select particular design and then you can create everything very easily so this is the power of ai artificial intelligence the way elon musk has created this chat gpt also right so this is really powerful where you can just type whatever you want to work on and automatically the chat gpt will tell you everything all right guys Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please, please subscribe to this channel if you really like these kind of contents and uh, like this video if you want to. Thank you guys.